two people who are meant to be together, nothing can keep them apart. Hi, it's Red Recapped here. Today I'm going to describe a movie called The Crow, which came out in 1994. There will be some spoilers in the following, so, let's begin the film without further ado. The movie begins on the 30th of October, commonly known as Devil's Night, an infamous night of arson and crime on the eve of Halloween. As dispatchers receive emergency calls in the city of fires, a narration shares the belief of some people that crows carry the dead souls of humans to the land of the dead. But on extremely rare and tragic occasions, the crows help the restless soul find peace by returning it to the living to make things right for the last time. Unfortunately, that night, a soon-to-be married couple, Eric Draven and Shelley Webster, become victims of a crime syndicate, and both end up losing their lives in their loft. Eric fell to his death while Shelley was raped and beaten the night before their wedding. Officer Albrecht orders Shelley to be brought to the ambulance, which Detective Torres dislikes. Torres emphasizes that he should be the one in charge of the crime scene, showing how much of a jerk he is. Moments later, a young girl named Sarah arrives and sees Shelley's dying state. Albrecht tells her that Shelley will be okay, but she already knows that she's not coming back. With tears in her eyes, she introduces herself as the couple's friend and says Shelley takes care of her. Albrecht is saddened to see her broken, so he tries comforting her as they fear the worst. A year later, Sarah briefly visits the couple's grave, placing colorful flowers for them. When she leaves, a crow pecks on Eric's gravestone as if waking him up. She then joins Albrecht at a hot dog stall for snacks, and they seem to remain friends after the couple's deaths. She probably finds the same comfort in him after losing her friends. Moments later, the street gang that killed the couple continues to wreak havoc in the city as they live as free men without convictions for their crimes. With anguish and heavy grief in his soul, Eric miraculously wakes from the dead. He emerges from the ground, feeling lost and confused as he tries to make his way through the familiar streets with the crow guiding him. Upon reaching his loft, he is greeted by Gabriel, their cat, but instead of feeling warm by the welcome of his home, flashes of the tragic last moments of their lives haunt him. In the memory of Gabriel passed unto him, he sees the heinous acts done to them dating back to the time when the gang invaded their home. They were brutally murdered, with Shelley suffering until her last breath. His heart breaks incredibly for his fiance as he becomes helpless and dies without a fight. With a few vivid memories he shares with Shelley, he covers his face with pale clown-like makeup. Amidst the harrowing atmosphere, he still remembers the good and intimate moments they had leading to their engagement. But as beautiful as their love was, all that's left now is hatred and vengeance to make things right for Shelley. That night, Tin Tin is at a pawn shop, trading the things he stole for money. However, Gideon, the store owner, is not only arrogant but also very greedy, so he gives his imposed price less than it's worth. Tin Tin is obviously very pissed but doesn't have the last say, so he lets Gideon have it. After that, the crow immediately informs Eric of Tin Tin's whereabouts. Eric skillfully rushes across the roofs and makes a dramatic fall to the dumpsters in an alley, creepily laughing as if he had already caught his prey. Eric and Tin Tin's short meeting quickly escalates to intense combat as both competently showcase powerful blows. Eventually, Eric corners him and calls him a murderer, which confuses him. So he reminds him of the couple they killed a year ago on Halloween. Still, Tin Tin remains apathetic, and for a minute, he thinks he has the upper hand as he uses his knives to finish him. Surprisingly, Eric is also good with knives, so he dodges them all and ultimately kills him with the same knives he used to cut Shelley. He also leaves the mark of a crow in blood near the site of the murder, symbolizing his revenge. Sometime later, T-Bird arrives at Trash Bar to report to their boss, Top Dollar, about the arcade explosion they caused earlier. However, Top Dollar is busy meeting with his female companions, which turns out to be a little too rough for one of them. Back at Gideon's pawn shop, Eric visits the shop to retrieve his stolen engagement ring sold by Tin Tin. Gideon, who thinks he's better than everyone, shoots him and is shocked to see the gun wound miraculously heal. He tries to escape, but he's just no match for him, and he gets his hand stabbed into the table. Eric specifically asks for his engagement ring, which he claims Tin Tin sold to him. Gideon eventually cracks and tells him where the rings are, seeing how disturbing Eric can be. In the metal box, Eric finds the ring, and flashes of their endearing engagement appear. Heartbroken but feeling a sense of fulfillment for taking down one of his targets, he proceeds to threaten Gideon as he pours gasoline in the shop. He orders him to tell the rest of the gang that death is coming for them tonight, and he blows up the shop. However, Albrecht catches him before he can leave the area. Eric calmly converses with him at gunpoint and brings up Shelley. He also confesses to killing Tin Tin, claiming he was already dead when he touched her. Albrecht is quite distracted by the alarming fire and Eric in front of him, eventually losing him in the open. Shortly after, Grange, 
Top Dollar's right-hand man, reports to Top Dollar regarding Gideon's pawn shop being burned down. T-Bird also reports the death of Tin Tin, where Top Dollar could honestly care less as he sniffs on illegal substances. Meanwhile, Sarah skates on the dangerous streets and almost gets hit by a car. Luckily, Eric saves her in time but keeps his identity a secret. She only recognized his voice when he said the line from his song. At the police station, Albrecht goes through Eric and Shelley's case file. He finds out she was killed because of a cause she initiated against the tenant relocation program in her neighborhood. Later in the night, Eric moves on to his next target, Funboy. In his room upstairs at the bar, he injects substances into Darla, Sarah's mother. Eric's crow then interrupts their intimate moment, and they make fun of the bird, allowing Eric to go through the window undetected. The two are obviously high and have mixed emotions about their unexpected meeting with Eric. Eric teases Funboy to take advantage of the situation by coming there unarmed, so he shoots him. Soon panics, realizing he's immortal. It turns out he isn't so tough after all, as he falls unconscious with a single shot. Eric then drags him to the bathroom, where Darla is hiding. He slumps him in the bathtub and approaches her, convincing her to stop her addiction and dangerous affairs and return as a mother to Sarah. Grange, who happens to be at the bar, notices something suspicious about Darla rushing to leave Funboy's room. So, he carefully sneaks upstairs and, sure enough, finds Funboy's body with multiple injections and a mark of the crow on his heart. Eric smoothly escapes through the window, intentionally showing himself before leaving. Moments later, he visits Albrecht in his home to ask for further details regarding what happened to them that fateful night. Albrecht tells him that he saw Shelley painfully hold on for 30 hours in the ICU before giving up. So, Eric touches his eyes to see her last moments and instantly becomes emotional, knowing she suffered to fight until her last breath. Albrecht clarifies that he tried to dig deeper into the case, hoping to find some answers. But after their deaths, no one wanted to talk, and he eventually got busted for sticking his nose where it wasn't wanted. Meanwhile, Gideon and Grange report their encounter with Eric. Gideon, full of pride, insults Top Dollar and eventually gets on his bad side. Top Dollar throws an eye at him, threatening him that it used to be from someone uncooperative. He then picks up a fine sword and points it at him, forcing him to give a more detailed description of Eric. Gideon reveals that Eric is accompanied by a bird and sends his message to T-Bird. Top Dollar finds his story amusing and thinks he might just be making it all up, but he swears he's not as twisted as them. However, despite Gideon's cooperation, he is so full of himself that Top Dollar brutally kills him to keep his good-for-nothing mouth shut forever. Eric sits on top of their building and emotionally pours his heart out as he plays the guitar, commemorating his music as he was part of a rock band. He then proceeds with his plan to eliminate T-Bird, cornering him in the car and forcing him to drive them. Skank, who seems incredibly loyal to T-Bird, steals a car and rushes to follow them. They even get caught between Skank and the police, but luckily escape. At an isolated pier near the coast, Eric straps T-Bird to his car. T-Bird is absolutely stunned upon discovering he is Shelley's dead boyfriend, whom they threw out the window, believing it's impossible for him to rise from the dead. But Eric proves to him how real he is as he becomes his last memory before exploding in his car while driving to the coast. Skank witnesses T-Bird's death and awe while Eric again leaves the mark of the crow on fire. The next day, Grange inspects Eric's empty grave, confirming that he is now undead and on a hunt. Meanwhile, Albrecht gets suspended for misconduct after Taurus suspects he's covering up for someone involved in the murder of T-Bird's gang. Despite knowing that Eric is dead, Sarah still goes to his loft to look for him, saying she misses them and feels lonely. Eric responds, and they share a warm embrace, briefly reuniting before he gets back to his mission. When night falls, he begins the hunt with some rock and roll before smashing the guitar full of hate and passion. He then sends the crow to Trash Bar, where a party and the meeting of Top Dollar's elite partners in the crime syndicate are currently happening in preparation for Devil's Night. Top Dollar proposes the idea of stopping firing the city, but instead, causing more significant damage and profit overall by pushing for disorder, chaos, and anarchy. Suddenly, they are interrupted by a crow landing on their table, and shortly after, Eric arrives fearlessly. He directly expresses his intention to get skank, but frankly, Top Dollar is not giving him up without a fight. So, a shootout ensues, and everyone targets Eric. When Eric falls off the table, they foolishly laugh at him, thinking they have already won. But when one of them checks on him, Eric fights back, swiftly and skillfully eliminating everyone in the room while targeting Skank. Finally, he kills Skank by throwing him out the window and landing on a police car. The incident immediately alarms the police, and they raid the bar. Eric gets caught in a police chase and appears weakened by the multiple encounters. 
Fortunately, Albrecht rescues him on sight, speedily losing the police on his track. Still, Eric doesn't stay long with him and instantly disappears as the car stops. With Top Dollar smoothly escaping the scene, Micah, his lover, decodes Eric's link between the world of the dead and the living, which is the crow. So, to kill him, they must also kill the bird. However, for Eric, his purpose is done, and he wishes to return to his grave with Shelley. When he arrives, he finds Sarah sleeping at the cemetery late at night. Worried she might endanger herself, he sends her back home, leaving her with Shelley's ring and a necklace for her to always remember her. They bid their goodbyes and hug for the last time as they parted ways. Unknown to them, Grange is spying in a dark corner and taking Sarah hostage. They hide her at a church near the cemetery and keep her as bait to lure Eric to them. Meanwhile, Eric is having a moment with Shelley before he rests in his grave. Suddenly, the crow catches a glimpse of Sarah calling for help, so he rushes to save her. Inside, the church seems creepy and abandoned, which makes it the perfect place to end the devil's night. Despite knowing he's entering a trap, Eric still boldly risks it, which causes the crow to get injured by Grange's sniper shot. Top Dollar confronts and shoots him, quickly gaining the upper hand as Eric slumps with his body affected by the crow's injury. As Grange is about to kill the crow in a close shot, Albrecht intervenes, distracting the enemy so Eric can hide. Eventually, Grange gets killed, but Micah successfully steals the crow. On the other hand, Albrecht and Eric team up to save Sarah. They follow Top Dollar and Micah to the bell tower, where Albrecht messes up and gets shot. Shortly after, Eric confronts Micah, and she assumes that his power is hers now, without realizing that the crow doesn't like her, so it violently pecks her face, and she falls to her death. At the roof, Top Dollar holds Sarah hostage, and Eric, desperate to save her, offers himself without a fight. He agrees to the offer but abruptly releases her, causing her to fall. Fortunately, Sarah holds onto the roof, but Eric is occupied with Top Dollar's constant attacks, ending in intense combat. Eric can't focus as he is more concerned about Sarah, and he gets stabbed. With his body unable to heal immediately, Top Dollar takes the opportunity to confess to ordering the clearing of the building, and enforcing fear on defiant tenants, since everything that happens in the city is done under his command. So he prepares his knife to cut out Eric's eyes as a souvenir, but he gets a shocking surprise instead. Eric touches his face and passes him 30 hours of Shelley's torment all at once, causing him to get disoriented and fall to his death. After that, he immediately responds to Sarah's aid and thanks Albrecht for keeping Shelley's tragically painful memories, which helps him end Top Dollar's long-running devilish reign in the city. Eric then disappears in plain sight. He returns to their grave, and says Shelley's name until his last breath. The movie ends with Eric finally reuniting his soul with Shelley, peacefully leaving the world together. The crow then returns the ring to Sarah, and the narration concludes with a warm message to keep our loved ones alive in our hearts. That's all from the video. I hope you enjoyed.